Welcome to our new video, where I'll be walking you through the new features of Lumion 2023.3. This version is packed with new functionality that is meant to improve your workflow, navigation, and most importantly, the quality of your renders. Let's dive in and I will walk you through everything you need to know. First, let's open a plain project and show you some of the new features that will help you build up your scene. The landscape textures have some fresh, high quality seamless additions to give your images more personality and customizability. You can access them from the Paint tab in the Landscape mode. Speaking of the landscape, the OSM now features faster to download high quality textures. Here's a comparison of Lumion 2023.2 and Lumion 2023.3. I think that's quite a step forward. Not only has the line placement curve been converted to a spline for easier control, but there's another change to keep in mind. This one is so easy and extremely useful for surfaces that aren't flat. When placing objects, you will now be able to project the path onto the landscape or to the imported model surface beneath it. Even better, the rotation of the selected objects will conform accordingly. This is incredibly useful when adding plants to a hill or cars along a slope. Simply click the Conform to Ground button and that should do it. This new version also comes with a massive overhaul of the cluster placement. There's a new functionality added and a fresh UI similar to line placement. It gives control over the types of items placed, their number, position and rotation. Also, a toggle that allows for conforming to the shape of the landscape has been added. Using this to populate vegetation will be a breeze. Just to give you a better idea of the other improvements, let's jump into one of our refresh templates, the Studio Showcase. This new template is here to help you present your buildings, furniture and designs easier than ever by simply adding your model and clicking Render. Ah, light design. Don't worry, we keep it simple. Most designers want to be incredibly specific with the way that light is being cast on the model they're presenting. This was possible when using spotlights, but now Lumion also has this option for Omni Lights. Simply select the Omni Lights, load the IES profile, and adjust the brightness to the manufacturer's specifications. Also, 10 new Omni Light templates have been added that you can freely choose each time. Last year, our talented users came together to create a new example scene as part of our autumn competition. We're happy to share with everyone this amazing project that came in first place. Low poly assets for conceptual representations. I'm not even going to explain what this is, but what I can tell you is that it'll fit right in with the presentations of your concept. Bear with me for 10 seconds. There are trees, cars, and people that will fit right in with your conceptual representation. These assets will support you in showing your clients what you have in mind. Let's refresh the preview and done. Since we got this project open, let me show you one you're going to love. The Real Skies effect has been improved and we've added an option to load your own HDRI texture. Go into any of the output modes, add the Real Skies effect, and once you select an image, Lumion will turn it into the main light source and texture of your environment. Each project needs a consistent look. You can't have two images in the same project stage that look different, and this is where LUTs can help you. Open the color correction effect. Select one of the presets in the drop down list, and the rest speaks for itself. This will keep the atmosphere you want consistent throughout your renders, and not only that, you can also load your own in case you want to customize this further. We have more exciting things to come in our next updates, so stay tuned and make sure to get the most out of Lumion. For the detailed breakdown of the new features, visit the release notes to get the full flavor of things. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to share your work on the Lumion community and send us your feedback. I'll see you next time.